Aquarius, welcome to their channel. Hope everybody's doing well. It's going to be a reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please remember to take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And like, subscribe, and share if you enjoy this video. Oh, come on. You're sticking together on me. Why are you doing that? Okay. Aquarius, you're worried about a home situation right now. Yeah, there you are. Seven of Wands. You're guarding it with everything you got. Yeah, this is this was what you wished for. What you hoped for. Why are you confused? Oh. Aw. There's some confusion around a heartbreak here. Something is coming full circle, Aquarius. Something big. Something that has to do with a wish. You're, you're confused about it, though. Why are you confused about it? Let's find out what this Nine of Swords or this Nine of Needles is about. What is this worry and stress? Thank you, Spirit. Okay. This is... Ooh. Oh, wow. Three-party situation. Wheel of Fortune. You could be dealing with a Pisces here, or you could have Pisces highly aspected in your chart, maybe in your moon. But you feel humiliated. Could be three people here. I don't see a celebr I don't see you worrying about a celebration. But I see you worrying about a connection with somebody. You're using your intuition. You're getting to the truth. It's painful though. It's very painful. What's this Four of Wands all about? Four of Candles, this home situation. What's going on with that? All right. There you are. This is the King of Swords, Aquarius. <laughs> being fair about a situation um the queen of swords king of swords not queen is always fair about a situation they do their best but this is what you wanted whatever this is the second time sun came out that's leo energy this is aquarius and leo energy you could be dealing with the leo all right It's everything you everything you ever wanted, Aquarius. It's your hopes and your dreams. So maybe this is a new situation out of that old icky situation. Yeah. Either you or somebody else is gonna send a message and it's gonna be about money going to be a new understanding, brand new understanding. But it may worry you a bit because you're back in the Nine of Swords again here. I think you're worried that it might be too good to be true. Don't be Aquarius. I'm being guided to tell you not to be afraid of this. Queen of Pentacles. This is somebody who is abundant. Somebody you love. Oh yeah, look at that. This is somebody you see as your empress or your divine counterpart. You're watching this person or they're watching you in this Nine of Swords energy. 
going, oh my God, how can I compete with that? I don't know why I said that, but it's what I'm feeling. Because we got the seven of wands here. Somebody's very, very guarded. They want to be fair, though, to this love. Yeah, I see somebody. Tr There's Leo again. You could be dealing with the Leo, very much so. And we got Gemini here, too. All right. You're trying to be fair to this person that you love. You're trying to help them. You're trying to give to them. You're trying to harvest whatever it is that you've planted here. But you're so, somebody's so guarded, it's almost as if they're afraid. They're afraid to be generous. They're afraid. Don't be afraid. This is everything you ever wanted, Aquarius. Everything. Don't be afraid of it. It's a Leo. I, I, I can't. It's a Leo that's far away. Could be somebody that you maybe rushed into things with. Because there's Sagittarius energy there. But this is, this is beautiful. This is letting go. is letting go of something that you may have wanted before. This is moving on from that. You're allowing the sun to come out here because you're allowing this to go far away. You might be traveling to see this person or this person might be traveling to see you. Don't rush it, okay? Don't cause yourself any unnecessary stress or worry here. Because you already got that going on. But this this king of wands is he's coming. He's coming, male or female. It's just a masculine energy. It's a dominant energy. What's this nine of potions or this nine of cups about, please, spirit? Thank you. Alright, work, enlightenment, oh, I got an immature energy here, so this might be a child, or it might be a message from a child, that puts your guard back up and gets you stuck. Maybe in a work situation. I'm seeing the tower there, yeah. Okay. So either you or somebody else is bringing in this tower because of the confusion that's going on with the connection. Could be a Virgo, but I'm seeing Leo like so strong in this reading. And it being everything you ever wanted. But it almost seems like here, you feel trapped. But that could be just a work situation. Wow, no way. All right, the confusion here is whether somebody wants to be single because they've enlightened themselves. They see it, there's strength on the bottom again. I think we already saw that though. Somebody's deciding whether they want to be single or they want to be, they're, they're stuck because they, they're trying to get the big picture of the situation with this empress, with this uh, divine person. Could be dealing with Libra Taurus, but um, like I said, I'm, I'm feeling Leo in this really, really hard. And this is your cup runneth over. You're very confused about if you want to be single or you want to be with this person that seems to be very abundant 
and very um, like a boss. Okay. And then we get the world card here. What is this coming back around? Page of Cups. There's the Strength card again. And the Two of Cups. Aww. It looks like somebody's going to be manifesting something from heartbreak. Because this is the second time the Three of Swords has come out. You're manifesting love with a possible Leo. And somebody is going to make an offer. It's coming back around. Look at that. Page of Cups, Leo, the Strength, Lovers, and the Magician. So somebody has manifested this, uh, this situation. They manifested something to come back that may have left their life at one time. But it's coming back around. Yes, it is. There's the confusion. Eyes wide shut. Okay, I don't think you know where to take this next step to, Aquarius, if this is you. If it's not you, it might be the person that you're dealing with. I don't think nobody knows where to move. They're just kind of stuck and they're not, nobody's moving forward. Yeah, what are you waiting for? Okay, the sun is here, the strength is here. It's here for you, Aquarius. What are you waiting for? Your ships to come in? That could very well be. Or somebody else is waiting on their ships to come in before they bring this, all these pentacles your way, okay? Yeah, there's the offer. There's the offer. What is this other one here, Spirit? We got Knight of Cups. So either you or someone else is going to come riding in on their horse. You're going to offer and sprinkle it with fairness and love. We got Leo again on top of the moving on. Wow. How many times can I pull the same sign in a, in a reading? You are definitely dealing with a Leo Aquarius. And this Leo is asking you to have the strength and be patient so they can try to help you to that full energy, the brand new start that you're looking for, found from the void of life. Could be dealing with a mother figure. Got two empresses here. Could be dealing with two, I don't see an emperor. All I see is empresses. There's the emperor, just as I say that. So this is a divine connection. And you know that with this Piscean energy. You already know this. That's why you're that's why you're taking this trip. Because you know that this person is your divine counterpart. Either you or the other person is taking a trip to see the other one and they are coming pretty quickly because they see you are everything and, and you see they are everything. You are seeing each other as divine counterparts working together, getting the things you need. You're both bosses, boss energy. Okay, this is beautiful, it's absolutely beautiful. But you manifested this through pain and I wanna congratulate you for that Aquarius because manifesting from a place of pain is never easy, okay? So you bring, bring, you bring yourself out of the confusion, you understand what this is and you go for it and that's just Point blank, it's beautiful. Let's see what we got here. Engagement, flirt, and playfulness. On the bottom, you deserve love. You are lovable. Woohoo! 
Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. You can flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others, and be playful with this. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to shine. So don't, don't be so, you know, like that nine of swords energy. Allow this to flow, Aquarius, because it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, you're going from the three of swords all the way to the emperor and the empress. And that's, that's fabulous. I mean, you really can't ask for any better than that. It looks like your money's looking good. And you're really going for it. That is absolutely outstanding. All right, let's see what we got from here. The dragonfly, be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. Nice. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. So yes, this is the ending of another, this is the ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. This is like the death card. So there is going to be a death of something here because you're ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, and preparing for union. Nice. Gotta like that. All right, let's see what the fairies got to say. This is, this turned out to be a really good reading. I mean, you went from some pretty toxic energy all the way to the divine masculine, divine feminine, because you held in there and you kept your strength up. Eight of summer. Nine of spring. And the 10 of autumn, eight, nine, 10. Whatever this was, it's done. Your cycle is complete. You're coming back around to the divine masculine, divine feminine, and soulmate counterpart. That is gorgeous. Generous, stylish, gracious, gracious and pa pa practical. The queen of autumn. Be practical re with respect to how you proceed, the ability to make anything more beautiful. Meeting someone who can help your dreams come true. Wow. Pretty strong words there. We got the eight of summer. The desire for a more meaningful life. Realizing that it's time to move on. Choosing to make major life changes. You're choosing to make a major life change. The game has changed for you here. And I do believe that's what this is all about. And it's, it's really, really nice. Nine of spring is like the nine of wands, I believe. Protect the fruits of your labor. Prepare for possible challenges that lie ahead. Environmental con con conservation, yeah, that word. 10 of autumn, take steps to ensure the financial security of your children or other loved ones. Making wise investments or planning for retirement and honoring family traditions. So you may be moving on to calmer waters here, Aquarius, and, and meeting your divine counterpart. Could be a mother. You got the dream walker and it's in reverse. Dreams, the collective good and illusions. Let's see what that says. And the hungry ghosts on the bottom. That's a warning. If you truly think there's never enough, there never will be. 17. And that's the diamond dreamer. The diamond, I need the dream walker. Dream walker in reverse. Okay. Let's see what this says. This is a challenger. So, this says the dream walker challenges you to wake up from your restless sleep in which you're not dreaming at all. 
This is a time to remind yourself of your passion and the aspirations you may have left behind. Perhaps you should reconsider and allow yourself pre allow your precious dreams again. Don't give them up. There is always a way they can return to you, as long as you don't try to dictate the forms that they take. Another way the dream walker challenges you is when you're in the middle of a nightmare brought on by you or by others. Wake up and don't struggle, for she reminds you that the divine will lead you out of this bad dream and into a much better one. This too shall pass. Be mindful that you have a unique and special purpose. You're always actively influencing your reality through the thoughts and reactions to life's challenges. That was a pretty good ending to this. I hope you enjoyed that. Please smash the like button and subscribe if you would. I would deeply appreciate it. See you next time. Till then, stay safe. Bye-bye.